Hello, it is me again, Grimatar Zikafarin. Let's we talk about tool quo, tool fallacy. Yes, there is of course a better way to deal with this than going to supermarkets. But that's only when there are completely vegan supermarkets in your area. But for all the privileged people that have one, I must say, most of us have not that privilege of living near a completely 100% vegan approved supermarket code owned by a vegan. So then we go to the next best option, and that's as a supermarket. Supermarkets get very little profit from selling third party products. In ev on average, they only get around um, 1% profit uh, from selling third party products. This, of course, differs uh, when you go to bigger supermarkets than in smaller supermarkets, but this is the average. Um, supermarkets get most of their profits from selling their own brands, how are often more local resource and are their most um, preferred and most important assets. Uh, supermarkets are therefore quite different from multi corporate worldwide enterprises like McDonald's, Burger King, or, or KFC. How are uh, have their own brands where their whole company is built on. McDonald's gets a lot of our own from the stuff that they sell their they get their money from, so because they're their own brand. So even if they sell uh, impossible one bird, a lot of that money goes still to McDonald's because it is under the McDonald's brand and still, and the same thing is true with um, if they do those impossible chicken nuggets from plant-based material because they are under the label that sold of uh, KFC, what is a multi, multi um, industry that have their own brands and they have their own slaughterhouses, they have their own process factories as all privately owned by them so a lot of their money goes still to them because it is basically their property if you ask me you can better go to um, your local vegan approved 100 percent Plant-based cafes, if there are in your areas, and support them with your money, so they don't go bankrupt and not uh, give any more um, power to the bigger and more structured cafeterias and restaurants and fast food chains, because the more competition, the less that's good for the bigger company corporations because then they get more um, monopony control over a certain area so always choose to buy from small companies if you ask me if you want to completely go off the grid also a good idea what you then can do is try to grow your own food I have a link in the description about veganic farming if you like to garden and grow your own food, that's better. That's, if you ask me, the best option. Um, but um, of course, going to vegan cafe is supporting them instead to McDonald's is a better op uh, is a better option. And um, buying from supermarkets is also a better option than buying from um, KFC or Burger King or those industries. Like I did say, there are small, there are small margins of profits from buying, uh, from selling third-party company stuff, and selling their own brands that are more prof, that's more cheaper, and also that one of the reasons it's more cheap is because they have to give less money to the brands 
daar staan. Um, that's what I just wanted to say. If you don't uh, know anything in um, approved cafe in your area, you can go to a website called Happy Cow, search for your area, and you'll probably find a lot of different kind of cafes and restaurants and maybe even shops in your area and go to them instead of going to McDonald's with your friends maybe you find your new uh, hangout place where you can uh, eat with your friends but to have a very good some feeling around it to have a very good family as it's Arousement. As you say. When darkness and light become one, the reality splits away. And the truth become visible. I think we should try to do the best in an imperfect world. Do you not agree?